Good afternoon. Welcome. Please remain standing for the presentation of our flag and the Star Spangled Banner played by the Meridian Brass Quintet and led by David Forney, a vocal performance and music business student in the College of Arts and Sciences. Please be seated. I would like to welcome you all again to Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. My name is Denise Cobb and I'm the Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. I'm delighted to celebrate this 2018 spring commencement with you. This, this afternoon, we will confer degrees on candidates from the College of Arts and Sciences. I'm pleased to acknowledge the members of the platform party. These individuals are with us today to extend their congratulations to our graduates. Would all members of the platform party please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Seated in the front rows before me are members of the faculty and staff members are located throughout the building. It is through the dedicated work of these individuals in designing and executing the curricula of the university and supporting our students that our graduates have been able to achieve their educational goals culminating in this graduation ceremony today. We are great for, grateful for all that you do. Would all faculty and staff in attendance today please stand and be recognized. Thank you. It is now my honor to welcome Southern Illinois University Board of Trustees Chair, Amy Scholler. Amy Scholler was appointed to the SIU Board of Trustees by Governor Bruce Rauner in 2015. In Alton native, she is a licensed attorney with her office located in Alton. 
Ms. Scholler earned a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration from the SIUE School of Business and a law degree from St. Louis University. Ms. Scholler opened her private practice in 2004, handling criminal defense and family litigation. She has served as guardian ad litem in countless cases representing children who are either victims of abuse and neglect or the subject of custody trials. We are grateful to have Ms. Scholler, Chair Scholler, with us today. Please welcome her. Good afternoon. What a crowd. Chancellor Pembroke, members of the platform party, graduates and guests. As chair of the SIU Board of Trustees, it is my privilege to extend greetings to you on behalf of the board and President Dunn. I also want to recognize today my fellow trustees, Dr. Shirley Portwood and your student trustee, Luke Jansen. Thank you. Membership on the SIU Board of Trustees involves a great deal of responsibility and reward for knowing that our efforts are in support of well-educated graduates who are prepared to apply the knowledge that they've learned to better our region and society at large. This moment is a result of your hard work and dedication and represents an important milestone in your life. I recall 20 years ago today walking across this stage as a huge milestone in my own life. Thereafter, I went to law school and I received my first real job after law school from Senator Hayne. <laughs> we are honoring him here today. So life becomes full circle. This is an exciting day for me and an exciting day for you. So now, as you walk across this stage, Take the time to enjoy the excitement and satisfaction that comes from achieving this very important goal. Congratulations, graduates. Go Cougars. Thank you, Chair Scholler, for your leadership and your remarks. Dr. Randy Pembroke became the ninth chancellor of Southern Illinois University Edwardsville on August 1, 2016. He is an SIUE alumnus, having earned a bachelor's in music education in 1978, a bachelor's in music performance in 1979, and a master's in music education in 1980. His doctorate in music education was earned in 1984 from Florida State University. The SIUE campus community is excited about his vision for the university's future. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Randy Pembroke. Thank you, Provost Cobb. I do cherish my status as an SIUE alum, and I appreciate you pointing out that proud accomplishment. But I'm not absolutely sure that we have to include the dates I attended SIUE in the future introductions. <clears throat> yeah, that was 40 years ago. Um, Chair Scholler mentioned walking across this stage. I walked across this stage 40 years ago as uh, a graduate, but it was at a place called the Mississippi River Festival. I don't know if any of you remember that or not. Yeah, okay. We'll meet out there after the ceremony. It'll be a good time. It is good to be home, good to be back at SIUE in Illinois after a period my mother refers to as my 40 years in the wilderness. The campus and the university as a whole have changed so much since I left. They have matured. And there is a quote by Mitch Album that I have come to appreciate. He said, I think what you notice most when you haven't been home in a while is how much the trees have grown up around your memories. But so much for reminiscing. Today is Commencement Saturday, and my job is to welcome you. Therefore, I say welcome to our graduates and their guests. We are proud of our graduating class. You are an extremely high achieving group, and you are entering a new phase of your life as SIUE alums. Reflect on that phrase for just a moment, SIUE alumni. It feels pretty good, doesn't it? We congratulate you on your hard work, your persistence, and the focus that you brought to this moment. 
I want to take time today to thank my administrative team and give you a chance to recognize their efforts in keeping the university running smoothly so that you could focus on your curricular and sometimes your co-curricular experiences. They made sure that things such as facilities, technology, housing, and financial aid work properly. So please join me in thanking members of the Chancellor's Council and Extended Chancellor's Council for their efforts. I also want to thank our trustees, Chair Scholler and Shirley Portwood for being here today. They provide amazing leadership for us. I also want to thank Chair Scholler for her comments. Thank you very much. And now, on to commencement. Students, today we are going to praise you. We are going to clap for you. We are going to congratulate you many times. So be ready for that. You may actually be somewhat embarrassed by all the attention. But I want to go off script for just a moment and give you the chance to clap for and say thank you to the key individuals who made a difference in your life and in particular in your SIUE journey. In short, the people who made it possible for you to be here today. Now, I don't know if you made eye contact with your family and friends in the arena as you processed in, but I hope so because I'm going to ask you to stand now and give an air high five or a thumbs up or a round of applause to those family members, mom and dad, grandparents, spouses, children, siblings, friends in the audience as a way to acknowledge their help. So stand up and point. Yes, you can do that one time, even they told you not to. Family and friends, I hope you enjoyed that moment. You worked long and hard for it, right? We congratulate you on the role that you have played. SIUE is shaping a changing world. It is our mission, and it is our mission statement. Look at the number of graduates here. Expand that to include an additional six ceremonies being held yesterday and today. And that's the impact of SIUE. SIUE is shaping a changing world that can take many forms. Experiences such as community service enhance academic development and complement classroom learning. Just last year, just last year, over 250,000 hours of service were completed by SIUE students. Successful community collaboratives featuring a year-long partnership between SIUE and a regional community partner address issues ranging from recycling efficiency to opioid abuse. This generation, you graduates, want to make a difference. We applaud you for focusing on the important things like community and justice. Last year, our student organizations raised over $85,000 for organizations such as Children's Miracle Network, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, Big Brothers Big Sisters, Make-A-Wish, Autism Speaks, and many others. With over 100,000 alumni, most of whom live within 50 miles of campus, as well as this latest assembly of graduates, SIUE continues to shape this region and indeed the world. There's a, a quote that I appreciate from Winston Churchill, and those of you who have read extensively of Winston Churchill know you can't use all of his quotes in a setting like this, but this one is particularly appropriate. It says this, we make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. I hope you will reflect on that in the months and years to come. So graduates, take pride in SIUE the fastest growing public university in Illinois in the last 20 years. Take pride in your alma mater, which is ranked first for research outlays among emerging institutions in the Midwest, and second for federal research and development among all Carnegie universities in our category in the nation. Take pride that you helped create the 11th safest campus community in the United States. 
and take pride in being one of only 80 institutions in the country recognized four years in a row for higher education excellence in diversity. We hope you will come back and visit us, that you will stay in touch, that you will let us know how you are doing. One of my favorite quotes about home by Robert Frost says this, home is the place that when you go there, they have to let you back in. <laughs> well, I just want to say graduates, we will welcome you back with open arms and joyous smiles, so please come visit us. So let me finish by saying thank you to students for, stu for choosing SIUE. Thank you to family and friends for supporting our students. And most of all, thank you to our faculty and staff and fellow students who helped them through their journey. Let me close with this. There is a poignant moment at the end of the movie Saving Private Ryan where the main character, played by Tom Hanks, says to the title character, Private Ryan, earn this, meaning redeem this life you're about to embark upon. Give it value. You have been prepared well. You may not know all the twists and turns ahead of you, but you have been pointed in important directions, in STEM, in STEAM, in the arts, and in sciences. So I say, earn this education and change the world. We wish you well. Thank you. And now it gives me great pleasure to present the SIUE Distinguished Service Award. The Distinguished Service Award is bestowed upon individuals who have made a profound impact on the growth of SIUE in line with its mission, its vision, and values. I am proud to announce this year's Distinguished Service Award recipient is Senator Bill Hain. Senator Hain represents the Illinois 56th Senate District which covers most of Madison County, including Alton, Wood River, Edwardsville, and part of O'Fallon. The Senator's 40-year career in elected office began in 1978 when he was elected to the Madison County Board. He went on to serve 14 years as Madison County's State Attorney until 2002 when he was elected to the State Senate. The Senator's first venture in public service was neither as a board member nor a state's attorney. Fresh out of St. Louis University, he enlisted in the U.S. Army and went to war in Vietnam. He earned a Bronze Star for combat service as a member of the 1st Cavalry Division from 1967 to 69. His service to his country sparked his involvement in many organizations, including the Veterans of Foreign Wars, the American Legion Post 204, where he is a past commander, and the Knights of Columbus. Across his political career, Senator Hain has been a champion of issues for working class families throughout the region, including efforts to bring jobs to this district, rallying for key infrastructure upgrades to the Metro East levee system and Interstate 255. And yes, every time you save time on 255, you should be thinking about Senator Hain and urging that Congress and the President review the national tariff policy on steel goods when U.S. Steel in Granite City announced it was going to close. He has been a trailblazer for statewide issues of insurance and criminal law while keeping a close eye on the communities he represents. A true advocate for SIUE and other institutions across the state, he fought against potential cuts to higher education funding in the Senate and supported SIUE during the state budget crisis. He also served on the Dean's Advisory Board for the SIU School of Dental Medicine. Though his time as a senator is coming to a close this year, the impact he has made on this university, our region, and throughout the state will be seen well into the future. This time, I am honored to present the 2018 Distinguished Service Award to Senator Hain and honored that he has agreed to share remarks for our ceremony. Thank you very much, Chancellor. And 
Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished graduates, um, professors, it's a great honor to receive an award for what, is, in essence, I see as doing my duty. Uh, as a member of the Illinois Senate, it is our job to make sure that our universities are enhanced, and this university especially is close to my heart. It is a treasure, and the gold that's in this treasure is right here in front of us, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished graduates. I would appreciate it very much, the Chancellor's reference to the early days of SIU, the Mississippi River Festival. I remember attending that after I came back from Vietnam and before I went to law school that fall. And I just want to tell the Chancellor, I didn't inhale in Vietnam and I didn't inhale at the Mississippi River Festival. I'll keep this short, ladies and gentlemen. I, I recall when I graduated with an undergraduate degree 50-some years ago, um, I tried to think of what anyone said from the podium at that graduation. I couldn't think of anyone's words. So <laughs> if you forget this tomorrow, I understand. <laughs> but I'm, I'm saying to you from my heart, it is a great pleasure to see you here, to see you as the what comes to fruition with public investment, with beautiful architecture that attracts dedicated first-rate faculty and dedicated first-rate students. This is what it's about and it should be about in public service. I look upon Life is a series of adventures. You've just completed an adventure. Four years to get a degree. I've had a series of adventures. And they've been some fraught with risk and some failed, but they were very rewarding. I fought in a war, fallen in love, and married a wonderful woman, got a law degree, prosecuted evildoers, had a bunch of children. I couldn't say no. <laughs> Been elected to office, became friends and supported a young man in the state senate named Barack Obama, and we're still... I have to add, the Democratic Party was angry at me uh, locally. They endorsed somebody else. I didn't care. You know, what do you do? Um, and I welcomed uh, uh, 33 grandchildren over the past few years. That's right. I've been made an honorary chief by the Native American Council. <laughs> and I battled cancer, which is in remission, and I'm doing well. Thank you. My advice to you, simply, is seek out adventures. Take a chance. And do one other thing. Those who are going into politics, into elective public office, and I wish more of you would, remember several things. Remember Thomas Aquinas, his famous words were, politics is the greatest of all sciences because it decides what is the common good. And that's what every politician should want to do. We have in this country a great legacy, a dream. Reverend Martin Luther King put it in 1963, a promissory note in the Declaration of Independence that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with inalienable rights. And that promissory note was dormant for the African Americans until the Civil War, and it was almost redeemed in the Reconstruction era. And we fell by the wayside again as a nation. And when I was growing up in the 40s and 50s in my formative youth, a third of the country was under an apartheid system 
a brutal apartheid system. I'm proud to say that my generation helped dismantle the infrastructure of that system, just as my father's generation fought the greatest tyrannies of the age. Your generation will help bring that promissory note to full cash when it's redeemed. And you will help bring all of the citizens of the United States into the mainstream of prosperity where the pursuit of happiness will again be a God-given right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Hayne, for your advocacy for higher education and your commitment to SIUE. For each commencement ceremony, one graduate is chosen to speak on behalf of the graduating class. To be selected for this honor, students must not only demonstrate academic success, but they must also exemplify the values of our institution. The graduate chosen for this ceremony is Hannah Smith, who is receiving her Bachelor of Science in Political Science. Hannah began her college career at 16 when she enrolled in the dual enrollment program at Southwestern Illinois College and simultaneously graduated with both her high school diploma and her Associate of Science degree. Her pattern of academic success continued during her time at SIUE. She maintained a 3.9 GPA and was a member of four different honor societies. Hannah's senior project, which focused on combating human trafficking among women and children in sub-Saharan Africa, took first prize in the Department of Political Science Student Research Competition. She hopes to publish her findings in a novel. She has already co-authored a novel with a former international relations professor about the power transition theory and the presidency of Abraham Lincoln. Hannah's motivation toward her academic studies, as well as her considerable degree of self-confidence and initiative in the classroom, garnered the attention of several faculty members, one of whom said, quote, she treated each assignment as a serious commitment and pushed herself to present the highest quality of work possible. Hannah worked as an intern with the United States Postal Inspection Service, where she assisted in investigations into money laundering, traf drug trafficking, and child pornography, organized and prepared evidence, scheduled and interviewed witnesses, and effectively summarized case materials. Her career in law is just beginning, as she has been accepted to study law at St. Louis University after graduation. Ms. Smith, it is my pleasure to welcome you as the student speaker representing your graduating class. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming. I would just like to start out by taking a brief moment to dedicate this speech to my grandma and grandpa. Thank you both so much for coming. I love you. <laughs> Commencement means a beginning, a beginning perhaps of our professional careers. This beginning has an important past, however. To get to this day, we have had the support of our families, and for this, we are thankful. Part of my emotional support came from the most amazing woman I have ever known, my grandmother. Growing up, she would endearingly call me Shotzi, which translated into English means sweetheart. She is so amazing because she purposefully sees the good in everyone she encounters, and in her eyes, everyone does indeed become Shotzis. You see, we will always have one of two choices in life. We can choose to look at the sunshine in our lives, or we can become fixated on the shadows. The same extends to how we view one another. I believe the heroes in our lives are those who bring us that constant sense of optimism and hope, our personal sunshine. At SIUE, it seems I have met so many of those amazing individuals. Every institution has a mission. However, as I was taught by one special professor, the difference between a successful institution and a non-successful one lies in if that mission is something merely posted on a website or carried out each and every day. 
The mission of SIUE has always been to develop professionals, scholars, and leaders to shape a changing world. An education will not necessarily make you better than a person without. An education will not necessarily make you happier than a person without. Rather, the only thing that can define you is your character. An education will, however, give you an opportunity to use the extra tools you have been blessed with to help you change the world. Whether your major has been international studies, mass communications, theater and dance, political science, or otherwise. SIUE has given us five values that supersede anything we could have been taught from a textbook. This is what makes SIUE and the people within it, from the faculty to all of you, stand out among the rest. Those five values are citizenship, excellence, inclusion, integrity, and wisdom. Citizenship represents social, civic, and political responsibility. At SIUE, citizenship comes first. In March, students from nursing, pharmacy, and public health traveled to Costa Rica for a full week of service and learning, showing that no borders limit the impact of SIUE, geographically or otherwise. My grandmother, who I mentioned earlier, did not have the privilege of an advanced formal education. Growing up in Germany in the midst of World War II, she put things in perspective to me when stating, at a time when bombs are falling, suddenly school is not the first priority. Coming to the United States, she prizes her citizenship and is a true patriot. Growing up in such horrifying chaos, all of those five tools, citizenship, excellence, inclusion, integrity, and wisdom are instilled deep within her. The second value, excellence, involves high quality learning and continuous improvement. It means a personal commitment to strive for more. Commencement is a beginning and not an end to our education. Our education cannot come to a stop when we leave here today, but rather it must be the very beginning of a lifelong journey. I hope that as you walk across the stage today, you remind yourself of, of how hard you have worked and how far you have come. But I also hope you ponder how perhaps you can take all that you have learned and go so much farther. Whether your impact changes the life of a member of your family or of a nation, you have made a difference. Day in and day out, we can choose to look at the sunshine in our lives. People like my grandmother. Be his or her sense of hope. The third value, inclusion, is about being welcoming and supportive, open to the richness of diversity, and always maintaining respect for peers alike and not. One of my favorite songs speaks of the chain of love. This song speaks of how all around us, there are strangers who could use a helping hand. If we simply keep our eyes open, we may be the help they may be searching for. Like a chain, one simple act of love can be paid forward like a never-ending stack of dominoes. In my years at SIUE, I witnessed so many actions of love and kindness. A few of my fellow graduating classmates have shared with me some of their stories of love and kindness they have experienced while at SIUE. I would like to share a few of those with you now. Sherry Blakesley, mother of seven, graduating with not one, but two degrees, political science and geography. Sherry's story shows the level of compassion at this university. Sherry lives with two of her youngest daughters at Cougar Village. Sherry's youngest daughter, Halo, was missing her big sister. The RA asked if Sherry could spend a day with Halo. When Halo came back to her mom, Sherry found out that the RA had taken her daughter to get her nails done and even found her a new doll to play with. This is an example of how the students here today are more than the class of 2018. They are family. Dylan Brett, criminal justice major. When asked to recount kindness he experienced at SIV, his story came from parking services, no less. For those who are unaware, parking tickets here on campus are about as rare as the sun rising each morning. <laughs> you see, Dylan was shown grace for not having a pop proper parking pass, only after leaving a note on his car which read as follows, Dear Almighty Ticket Provider, <laughs> I have renewed my parking pass and will be picking it up at the muck today, but I don't get out of class till 9 p.m. With that said, I would greatly appreciate some grace. While graduating today, Dylan is grateful for not receiving his fifth parking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Love and kindness are all around us here at SIUE and here in this room. 
The fourth value, integrity, focuses on two key components. The first is accountability to those we serve and from whom we receive support. And the second is honesty in our communications and in our actions. Before going any further, I would like to say thank you to all the men and, the wo and women in the audience today who have served. Our thanks will never be enough for all that you have done. Austin. <laughs> Also, a special thanks is in order to the men and women serving who received their diplomas today. We honor you, we thank you, and we salute you. Accountability must never be understated. French playwright Moliere said it best when stating, accountability is the glue that ties commitment to results. The diploma you received today is not simply a result of your intelligence, nor your drive, charisma, financial status, etc. Rather, it is a result of you being accountable to your dreams and to your future. Hold tight to those dreams as they will forever be possible as long as you believe. The second component, honesty, is crucial. Always tell the truth. The most honorable man I've ever known is sitting here in the audience today, my father and best friend. As kids, my siblings and I would always joke because we could swear he had never told a lie. To this day, the joke is on us because I can say with great pride that fact has not changed. After graduation, I plan to follow my father's footsteps in the legal field. I will start at SLU Law with the hopes of being among the graduating class of 2021. Wherever your pursuit in life takes you, may it bring you an honest energy, honest companionship, and an honest purpose. The final highlighted value here at SIUE is wisdom. It is the creative application of knowledge in a manner that promotes the common good. SOE's Office of Educational Outreach acknowledges that to maximize each student's fullest capabilities, innovative methods must be used to match the ever-changing and modern ways of connecting, living, working, and learning. The learning process is vastly different than it was a decade ago and than it will be in a decade to come. Here on this campus, one of our principal slogans has always been, we are the E. The meaning of this saying is up to personal interpretation. Personally, I take it to mean that we are the ones who will choose to make a difference. From on-campus organizations such as Love Your Melon or St. Jude Up Till Dawn, student-led organizations who have joined in the fight against childhood cancer, SIUE students are consciously choosing to take what they have learned and apply it to something bigger than themselves. They are choosing to promote that common good I believe that is the definition of wisdom. Citizenship, excellence, inclusion, integrity, and wisdom. As we commence today, I encourage each of you to commit to strive, to strive to give just a little bit back to the university who has given us so much more. We can show the world around us that students of SIUE are doing more than saying they will shape a changing world. Instead, they are acting upon it. To the family and friends in the audience today, we wouldn't be here without you. You truly are the sunshine in our lives, our constant sense of optimism and hope. Thank you, Southern Illinois University Edwardsville. The class of 2018 thanks you from the bottom of our hearts. Fellow graduates, perhaps the next time we meet someone for the very first time, we can remind ourselves the only way to see someone for who they really are is their character. You might be surprised at just how many shots used there are in the world. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah, for your message. And congratulations on your achievements. At this time, I would, I would like to ask Lindisti Littell to please join me at the podium.
if you want to come closer, that's okay too. Today, the university presents a posthumous degree to the family of Courtney Littell. <sighs> Sorry. In different circumstances, Courtney would have received two degrees today, a Bachelor of Arts in Theater and Dance with a specialization in theater history and dramatic literature and a Bachelor of Arts in English. A native of Bloomington, Illinois, Courtney was an undergraduate student in the College of Arts and Sciences who loved literature and creative writing. Fellow student and friend Connor Jones described Courtney as someone with an absolutely ferocious intellect who was known as much for her wide-ranging studies just as much as her wide range of experiences. Connor said that the root of her interest, at the root of her interest, she was an explorer. As an explorer, she reached out to the world around her and learned about it through her studies, through her travels, and through her firsthand experiences with people. She had seen most of Europe before Connor met her. Her charisma and personality made her friends from London to China. Her ambitions and achievements were something to behold, but what Connor will remember most was her kindness. He went on to say that Courtney was a rock for many people. She was known for caring about everyone in the department and it was always listening, willing to listen to people vent about life. She would never let anyone go without words of encouragement and love. She was also known for greeting everyone with a hello lovely or something similar. It's a simple gesture, but it was a mannerism of hers that people treasure. She was always willing to give hugs and telling people she loved them, and she was fiercely dedicated to her friends and loved ones. If it was necessary, she would stay up for days to help her friends get through difficult times and still keep her straight-A record. Connor spoke of the number of clubs, classes, and commitments she could handle at one time, and he described her as incredibly dedicated. Courtney had been through cancer and was a survivor. She had broken multiple bones in her rib cage during a car crash and yet still came to school for weeks afterward because she was not willing to let down her friends and colleagues who were working on her play. When Courtney passed away, she was in a car driving around to find the home of a lost dog she had found. As Connor said, if that doesn't say something about her character, I don't know what does. Courtney was loved by everyone at SIUE, and she was never afraid or timid in, by everyone at SIUE, and she was never afraid or timid in showing she loved us back. Above all, the ability to spread love was the embodiment of who she was as a person. One of Courtney's English professors, Dr. Christine Hildebrandt, described Courtney as enthusiastic, interested, involved, and a true pleasure to have in class. Dr. Hildebrandt went on to say, quote, she took my assignments seriously and reflected on my feedback, and I felt she was an anchor for the other students in the class who were in less invested or less confident, end quote. Dr. Hildebrandt continued by saying, quote, students like Courtney are the ones who keep me jazzed and excited about being in the classroom. They may be newcomers to the subject area, but they do not let the newness or the fact that the class is not exact, exactly or precisely about what they want to do for the rest of their lives prevent them from having a satisfying experience. That kind of positive, can-do attitude rubs off on others." End quote. Johanna Schmitz, professor of theater and dance, had this to say about Courtney. Quote, it has to be true that one of Courtney's favorite words was amazing. She was easily impressed and easily enthralled by just about everything, which is why it was so fun to have her in class or on our study abroad trip to London, or in my office for a long chat about neoclassicism, or the Academy Francais, or new plays, or old plays, or her emerging interest in stage management. She continued, she knew she enjoyed working with people, and it was fun watching her discover that she had the natural leadership skills to organize chaos into a final performance by guiding a cast and crew toward the inevitability of opening night. Sometimes it was a challenge to guide her to explain in words why something was amazing. As her friend, I knew what she meant. She felt things so deeply and knew things to be so true that her regard for whatever it was lay beyond the limiting boundaries of pesky language. She would have been so happy to have been here with us today. She would have had the best wishes 
for all of you as you finish your degree and go out to begin the big, beautiful, adventurous life you have ahead of you. I imagine she would say with a big smile and a grand gesture, take it all in, it's going to be amazing. End quote. Thank you, Johanna. In her time at SIUE, Courtney modeled her life by the SIUE values of citizen, citizenship, excellence, inclusion, integrity, and wisdom. Today, we recognize Courtney Littell with a posthumous Bachelor of Arts in Theater and Dance and a posthumous Bachelor of Arts in English. To accept these degrees in Courtney's memory is her sister, Lindisti Littell. Chancellor Pembroke, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Arts and Sciences, it is my honor to recommend Courtney Littell to you for the former conferring of her degrees. Upon recommendation of the faculty and the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Southern Illinois University Board of Trustees, I confer on Courtney Littell the degree Bachelor of Science with all associated rights and privileges thereto. The candidates for graduation will be presented by their deans to, Cham to Chancellor Pembroke for conferral of their degrees. In your program, you will see that recipients of baccalaureate degrees who are graduating cum laude, mag magna cum laude, and summa cum laude are noted by one, two, and three asterisks respectively. They are also wearing cords on their academic regalia indicating their honors. In addition, candidates who are honor scholars are indicated in the program with a capital H. Graduates who will be commissioned as second lieutenants in the U.S. Army are listed in your program as well. During this portion of the ceremony, I ask that the audience please remain seated and hold your applause until all graduates have crossed the stage. Thank you. Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees from the College of Arts and Sciences please rise? <laughs> Chancellor Pembroke, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Arts and Sciences, it is my honor to present these candidates who subject to completion of all requirements established by the university and the College of Arts and Sciences are recommended to you for the formal conferring of their respective degrees. Thank you, Dean Budsman. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Southern Illinois University Board of Trustees, I confer on each of you the baccalaureate degree earned with all associated rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Will the graduates of the College of Arts and Sciences please come forward?
David Raymond Fernie. Bachelor of Arts, College of Arts and Sciences. Justin Leroy Armstrong. Nathan Joseph Ash. Erica Renee Bainbridge, cum laude. Patricia Ellen Baker. Sierra Bazile. Gabrielle Nicole Borders, magna cum laude. Alexandra Brinovec. Monica Catherine Busher. Samuel Lloyd Butler. Monet Diana Carr. Kerrigan Aubrey Chapman. Chloe Lachelle Chapman. Stephanie Christian. Haley Clemens Landry. Summa cum laude. Corey Lynn Cuts Compton. Magna cum laude. Uh, summa cum laude. Scott Wellington Cox. Dion Latre Craig. Brittany Lynn Crockett. Talia Marie Cruz. Willem Keith Ian Devon. Raymond Cody Devoto. Cherie Ann Blakesley. Courtney Gabrielle Diamond. Haley Danielle Dianita. Ramon Cortes de Shazer. Jesse Ann Borjic. DeMarco Terrell Edwards, Jr. Maui Jacinta Evans. Megan Therese Fry. Anne Marie Gamboa Reynolds. Emma Ruth Grunden. Allison Paige Hemingway. Emily Renee Hensley. Melanie Lee Hiller. James Edward Hipchin. Abigail Elizabeth Jarvis. Amber R. Jenkins, magna cum laude. Cody Lee Jetter. Langdia Margaret Renee Jones. Tiffany Jones. Michaela G. Justice. Laurel Brianna Katz. Alexis Claire Keller, cum laude. Catherine Ann Kemp. Madeline Yvonne King. Shane Anthony, uh, Anthony Kochansky. J. 
Jamie Marie Landman, cum laude. Christina Lynn Leahy. Louisa Agatha LaCroix, summa cum laude. Lauren Jean Lemp. Ryan Mitchell Losey. Maddie Margaret Malone, magna cum laude. Luz Martina Rosales, magna cum laude. Samantha Jean McCoy. Chloe Elizabeth Morris. James Talmadge Moss, summa cum laude. Taylor Miles. Tiffany Michelle Newble. Alexandra Jane Noyes. Natalie Lynn O'Brien, cum laude. Catherine Anne Marie Pennock. Rachel Ann Phelps, cum laude. Jade Price. Paige Elizabeth Pruitt. Alexandria Laferl Redfield. Kristen Nicole Rimey, cum laude. Colin Joshua Robinson. Vernicia Siobhan Ruffin Ford. Crystal Anne Marie Sampson. Claire Renee Schneider. Jordan Alexander Schrader. Miranda Ray Seaman. Jermaine Sne Snell Tone. Shelton, sorry. Allison So. Trent James Stewart, cum laude. Kimberly Rose Sutherland, magna cum laude. Robert W. Swalwell. Brenna Lee Elizabeth Ulrich. Kayla Rose Vondera. Ellie Marie Vandolen, summa cum laude. Deidre Shante Washington. Keila Ziera Washington, magna cum laude. Marissa Gail Williams. Olivia Ann Williamson. Justin Matthew Wrench. Colton Oakley Wyatt. John Thomas Yinkst. Jillian Marie Young. Leah Marie Yurchuk. Bachelor of Fine Arts, Kayla Rose Burstatus. Sarah Maria Bone, cum laude. Richard D. Neal III. Kristen Lane Pauley. Grant Schmitz Unger. Summa cum laude. Bachelor of Liberal Studies. Abiola Abike Adebayo. Kaylin Cade Lacey. Anthony Joseph Lafeda, commissioning United States Air Force. 
Olivia Lynn Shemwell. Clinton Joseph Twombly. Bachelor of Music, Justin Dallas Duvall. Alexander Lauren Fritz. Merrick Shea Haji Sheikh, cum laude. Anthony Michael Maurer. Justin Michael Murray. Ryan P. Torpea. Matthew Robert Welzer, cum laude. Victoria Anastasia Wild, cum laude. Miwako Yamaguchi Lopez, summa cum laude. Bachelor of Science, Travis Burton Aaron. Sydney Ali Almeyer. Aaron Keith Albrecht. Kyla C. Alexander. Jalen Allen. Shayna Elise Allen. Amanda Nahid Atarian. Samantha Ann Barber. Ashley Leanne Belcher, cum laude. Dylan Matthew Bory. Christopher Earl Bones. Brianna L. Boyd. Brian Samuel Bradshaw, summa cum laude. Caitlin Denise Brady. Jacob William Breitbarth. David James Bridgman. Corey Edward Brown. Matthew G. Brunning. Jordan Ariel Canino. Duana Anya Caraway. Brittany Lynn Cash. Nicole Elise Kaysen. Sierra Marie Chestnut. Casey Lee Coletti. Sydney Leah Cook. Tiffany Lynn Cook. Adam Mark Cowgill. Sierra Diane Cox. Jordan Andrew Crown. Jamie Crunwell. Daniel Willem William Cunningham. Emily Diane Dare, summa cum laude. Nicholas Quinn Dobbs. Madeline Sue Kathleen Dotson, summa cum laude. Vanita V. Douglas. Jillian Shelby Dumont. Dion Joseph Duplacis. Christine A. Durham. Tess Alexandria Eby. Ryan Timothy Engelman. Paul V. Epi, summa cum laude. Kayla Aaron Estelle. 
Shaney Irene Evans. Zachary Ray Factor. Mitch Jacob Fesser. Idalise Flores. Dallas Ray Foster. Jerome Lamar Fola. Lauren Brianna Fox, cum laude. Carissa Nicole Gates. Kirsten Leanne Gavin. Michael R. Gieschel. Emily Elizabeth Gebbin. Austin Don Glendenning. Zachary Bruce Gondek. Atia Saida Singleton. Ashley Quen Ho, cum laude. Donovan C. Smart. Hannah Christina Smith, summa cum laude. Julian Manuel Gonzalez. Ashley Paige Gordon. Mallory Ann Green. Chloe Elizabeth Gretik. Dalton Edward Hafford. Ashley Taylor Hamilton. Alicia Renee Hamilton. Demetrius Lindell Harrington. Jordan Brianna Harting, magna cum laude. Alexandria Kirsten Hearn, magna cum laude. Caleb Alexander Hennick Berhanu. Andrea Starr Hentrick. Nikira Lily Hill. Casey May Hilt. Eli James Horner. Alexis Marie Halfacre. Rhiannon Anya Ike. Anita Catherine Jackson. Keandra Renee Jackson. David Brian Jackstadt. Brooke Danielle Jamison. Courtney Lee Jarrell, cum laude. Elizabeth Joe Jaspers. Nia Angela Giles. Felicia Nicole Joller, summa cum laude. Shanice E. Johnson. Teal E. Johnson. Makita Faye Jones. Leo Joseph Kelly. Dalton William Kiefer. Jared Michael Kirby. 
Megan Marie Lee Kirkland. Ebene Janae Knowles. Landon Thomas Creek, magna cum laude. Claire Elizabeth Krenitz. Farhana F. Lalani. Siobhan Chazelle Lane. Tyler Adam Lauderdale. Danielle Nicole Lee. Destiny Marie Lee. Brianna Marie Leifker. Clint Robert Lord. Shane Ryan Mason. Michaela Danielle Loveless. Caitlin Maria Lucia, magna cum laude. Samuel Eli Alexander Lutchman. Amanda Sherry Mansfield. Julia Elizabeth Markham. Kari Mason. Erin Elizabeth Massey. Ethan Charles Massey. Christopher Mathis. Stacy Carol McEldowney. Tyler J. McWhorter. Austin Niles Meehan. Robert Francis Menzi. Kyle Allen Messenger. Joseph Michael Miles. Jasmine K. Miller. Maria Elizabeth Miller, cum laude. Jacob Scott Montagnani. Ariana K. Morris, magna cum laude. Jalila Mariam Muhammad, magna cum laude. Lisa Ann Myers. Rihanna Lee Neal. Braden Dane Nichols. Alexis Rianne Nolan. Daniel Clayton Nose. Cassidy Denise Oliver, magna cum laude. China Palmer Nichols. Cody H. Peace. Brian Dwayne Pearson, Jr. Quincy Alexander Powell. Kayla R. Prey. Bailey Nicole Reed. Natalie Jane Romberg. Brandon Allen Rice. Michael James Robinson. Taylor Dion Hallis Robinson. Nicholas James Rogers. Braden Ann Rolsing. Stephen J. Romero. 
Rachel Adele Rowlett. Ricky Rashun Rush. Selena Maria Santos. Margaret Savannah Scarsdale, magna cum laude. Edward Martin Zemer. Angelo Joseph Silvestro. Dominic William Sinclair, summa cum laude. Victoria Elaine Slaughter Harris. Terry Lynn Sleemer. Joshua A. Smith. Natalie Virginia Spain, summa cum laude. Quinesha Brianna Spann. Juliana Marie Spray. Danielle Elizabeth Strauss. Ashlyn Bailey Sullivan. Aaron Keith Summers. Joan A. Susowitz. Travis Holden Swerth. Kevin Everly Thomas. Shelby Allison Tamanovich. Alexis Nicole Tanis. Vincent William Toon. Westenier Valmera. Dylan Elisha Verrett. Alexis Michelle Villarreal. Mariah Lynn Vollmer. Elijah James Wakefield. Lackenzie Dominique Walls. Haley Noel Waters. Jacob William Watson. John Mathis Webb. Ryan Adam Weiss. Emily J. Wellen. Amris Wells. Jared Arthur Welty. Travis Joseph Wenty. Dylan Wayne Whitmore. Sarah Ann Wilkening. Bria Danielle Brooke Williams. Kimberly Dawn Wills. Alyssa Marie Wilmot. Brianna Winston. Erica Ashley Winter, cum laude. Dylan Allen Wolf. Marlissa Marie Wood. John Mark Isaac Worth. Sandra Monique Yokley, summa cum laude. Mackenzie Maring Marie Young, CK. Matthew David Zahn, cum laude. Bachelor of Social Work, Madison Elise Abernathy. Zoe Jane Baker, cum laude. Hannah Grace Baker Boyd, summa cum laude. Shelby Reed Barber, cum laude. 
Randy Marie Barron, Kaylee Brianna Baum, Cum Laude, Aaliyah Renee Burge, Courtney Brianne Cash, Magna Cum Laude, Troy Simone Cobb, Journey L. Coleman. Lauren Elizabeth Cox, cum laude. Dominique Alyssa Nelson. Lauren Marie Credis. Jamie Jam Galloway, cum laude. Marisa Gonzalez, cum laude. Caitlin Eileen Gordon, cum laude. Abigail Colleen Githis. Indira Din James. Markarian Elizabeth Johnson, magna cum laude. Farah Kathleen Kirby, magna cum laude. Kristen Danielle Keel, summa cum laude. Caitlin Marie Klenke. Autumn Nicole Lewis. Amanda Claire Lipner. Tanya Giselle Manjares Nevares. Shirley Joanne Moore. Sarah Dawn Moss. Kristen Joy Nichols, summa cum laude. Kerrigan Renee uh, Rom Romoser, magna cum laude. Samantha Marie Rowe, magna cum laude. Blake Austin Russwinkle, magna cum laude. Sarah Rose Scribner, magna cum laude. Abraham Burgess Stubblefield. Ali Marie Sweet, Sweat, sorry. Deshana Lachey Washington. Ashley Renee Williams, cum laude. And now, would all of the 2018 spring graduates please rise. Okay, it's a great moment. Graduates, for this next step to work, you have to have your tassels on the right side. On the right side, just for the moment. In recognition of the degrees bestowed upon you, you may now move the tassel from right to left. Congratulations.
congratulations. Graduates, please be seated. <laughs> please welcome to the podium Mr. Alan Kerr, President of the SIUE Alumni Association Board of Directors. Good afternoon, guests and graduates. As president of the SIUE Alumni Association Board of Directors, it is my honor and privilege to congratulate you on completing your degree and to welcome you as our newest members of the SIUE Alumni Association. Are there any other SIUE alumni in attendance today? And if so, please stand so we can recognize you. Class of 2018, I welcome you to the Alumni Association. Upon graduation, you automatically become lifetime members of the association. Our mission as the Alumni Association is to focus on university advocacy, scholarship fundraising, alumni networking, social events, and lastly, student mentorship. The association is made up of nearly 120,000 fellow alumni who have leveraged their education and experiences to shape a changing world and to positively impact the lives of others. As alumni of SIUE, we each have a responsibility to advance the traditions of leadership, excellence, service, and giving back. I would like to draw your attention to those graduates who are displaying the red, white, and black philanthropy cord as part of their commencement regalia. This cord is from our class of 2018 senior campaign as it represents and recognizes those graduates who have personally donated $20.18 to signify their continuing support for SIUE. Their contributions to the Alumni Board of Directors Scholarship will assist future Cougars in attending commencement ceremonies of their own. Thank you for your generosity and for carrying on the alumni tradition of giving back. You are now part of this impressive history of the university. As you represent SIUE and move beyond classrooms into your chosen endeavors, you will have a role in shaping a changing world. You will have many opportunities to positively impact the lives of others. You may go on to educate future generations, which is, a funda which is fundamental to our way of life. Nearly everyone in the room can remember at least one teacher who made a difference in their life. You may go on to work with patients to improve their quality of life. You may dedicate yourself to public service or use your creative talents to improve our communities. Some of you will make headlines, while others will do great things behind the scenes with very little fanfare. I look forward to the day when some of you will be future honorees in our prestigious SIUE Hall of Fame. No matter your chosen profession, I am confident that the education and skills you have developed while attending SIUE have prepared you for anything that life presents. In closing, once you leave campus today, no matter where your life or career may take you, Stay connected and remain involved with SIUE in some way. You're always welcome here, as in many ways this is your home. I would imagine we have many alumni and graduates in attendance who are frequent users of social media to stay informed and connected. So if you use Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn, take a moment today to like and follow the SIUE Alumni Association accounts so you'll always be up to date with our events and our initiatives. Congratulations on achieving your degree. Best of success and happiness in all you do. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kerr. Honored guests, at this time, let's give our graduates one final round of applause.
on, be <laughs> on behalf of the university, I wish to thank David Forney and the Meridian Brass Quintet for their fine musical performances today. Thank you to Dr. Doug Sims for reading the graduates' names. Thank you to the Army ROTC for the presentation of colors. Thank you to our interpreters provided by Paraquad Deaf Way Interpreting Services for making the commencement program available to those who are deaf or hearing impaired. Best wishes to all of our graduates and thank you to all of our guests for joining us on this momentous occasion. We hope you will return home to visit us often. We will conclude commencement by singing the first verse of the SIUE alma mater, Hail SIUE, played by the Meridian Brass Quintet and led by David Forney. Following the alma mater, please be seated until the platform party, faculty, staff, and graduates have left the seating area. Now please rise for the alma mater the lyrics are printed in the back of your program.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 